In 10 years time, we'll look back on 2020 as the year of the super naked, where caution is thrown to the wind, ridiculously powerful engines are crammed inside compact frames and their riders are identified by bulging neck muscles. This test puts two of the biggest contenders head to head. Kawasaki ZH2 is the all-new king of the Z Kingdom, a lineage famous for bang for buck naked fun, great engines, build quality and reliability. The ZH2 reigns over them all. A 1000cc supercharged inline 4 with 200 PS and 101 foot-pounds of torque using forced induction to send this ship into warp speed. KTM's all-new 1290 Super Duke R, the Beast 3.0, is back for another round. Refined, tweaked and in a more athletic form, the Beast's bite is sharper than ever. The Super Duke's 1300cc V-Twin delivers 180 horsepower and 103 foot-pounds of pure muscle and weighs 189 kilos dry. And spoiler alert, both of these bikes have got enough power to take your head clean off. So, Ollie, we're at the airfield and we are going to work out which one of these super nakeds is faster. So I'm thinking like 0 to 100 or 0 to 130. What do you think? Yeah, 0 to 130. I think they've got quite high top speed. So I think right. that's a, a generous. And then, and then roll on, I was thinking like 40 through to 120, third, fourth, fifth and sixth gear. Sound yeah, good? through the box. Yeah, it sounds really good. I think that'll be a good, a good comparison, to be honest. Good. And who's your money on? <sighs> I haven't ridden both of them. I know that that thing is an absolute torque monster. The Super Duke is just unreal. You know, it's got 140 newton meters torque, 180 horsepower, sitting at around 200 kilos. Same torque, you know, slightly more horsepower, but it's, you know, sat 30, 35 kilos more. So probably more planted, but high top speed maybe, but up to 100, I think the Super Duke's got it. Well, let's find out. Sounds good. Just for the record, I think this is gonna win. But let's go and find <laughs> out, let's get it on. Nice. So as you can see, the heavens have, have been opening and kind of cut us short a little bit, but we have had a real good go on these two bikes, haven't we? Yeah, it's been absolutely wicked. And we've, I think we've had a good time, right? Yeah, it's been heaps of fun. The results? We both talked about it earlier, weren't we? It's really inconclusive. You know, earlier I sort of said that would be, you know, the one to go for sort of zero to a hundred and then that would sort of go off afterwards. But we, we were both changing bikes and we were both sort of back and forth as you'll see in the video but 
it's just difficult to lay the power down basically and hold on for dear life just because the handlebars are going and you're trying to tuck behind without breaking your neck and stuff on the wind you know my neck's a little bit sore now <laughs> but you know it's a, it's i was yeah like you said it's inconclusive i'd say but i mean these the, the super bike uh, these these super naked uh very different you know like my Definitely. bike my jixa 750 not as fast as these but i can go up and down this airfield no problems 140 no dramas you know and you put your head up and you think crikey i'm doing 140 <laughs> these things you know you're doing that sort of speed sure, sure. and on on this one on the zh2 you know you're constantly if you're in that power you're constantly skipping on the road and because it's got no steering damper it it, it's it's a scary experience <laughs> definitely, definitely and 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 that thing just wants to wheelie all it's the time it's just an absolute wheelie machine isn't it that engine is just an absolute peach it's super smooth anything you can ride it around at whatever gear whatever speed you want it will just pick up and not clatter and you know judder a little bit like the the v-twin character uh, characteristically does but you know on third gear roll on that that eats up for breakfast but Four, fifth, sixth—that is just whoosh, it's gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone it's straight a, away, it's so. a really flexible motor, definitely. So the, I, I, th I think the, not two hundred and thirty, pretty inconclusive. Probably a bit more to do with the rider, mm. and a bit more to do with how much guts you've got, how much, sure. how much balls you've got, basically. <laughs> um, the roll-on stuff. This in third gear. Everything else, the zh2 wins yeah but definitely. you know what these bikes weren't designed uh for the track they weren't designed for doing this they were designed for the road so we're gonna take them on the road yeah. and see, what we, uh, see how we get on yeah, nice. the zh2 shines on the road wherever and whenever fast and smooth progress is the aim the silky smooth and powerful engine combined with a rock solid chassis and adjustable shower suspension soaking up any uneven road surfaces. Kawasaki's market research said their customers wanted a powerful naked bike that was easy to ride and could be ridden every day. They have delivered on this to perfection. The ZH2 is an incredibly comfortable place to be all day comfortable riding position and a beautifully silky smooth motor that can be as easily ridden on a trip to the corner shop as it can be cruising at 120 miles an hour on the autobahn suspension set up plush sure-footed planted and the swung back bars providing a less intense and more relaxed feel by contrast the ktm is a totally different animal the super duke is aggressive sharp pinpoint accurate, a feeling much more akin to sports bikes than tourers. The geometry is more athletic, you sit on the ZH2, you sit in the Super Duke. An all new chassis and WP suspension combined with Bridgestone S22 tyres to give an uncompromised naked bike that will devour many a sports bike on track. With devastating accuracy, the KTM is undeniably the sharper track tool when compared to the ZH2. And the brakes, no quicker than your eyes have been repositioned from the back of your skull that they are at risk of flying out entirely the other way. Brembo style Emma Calipers being the culprit, delivering what feels like fork bending levels of stopping power. And this is where the differences start to show. With a more upright position and bigger feel, the ZH2 feels more orientated towards longer distance and comfortable work, whereas the 1290 Super Duke R feels and rides firmer and harder, a more sporty and more aggressive stance. Harnessing the power of these bikes is no mean feat. Excellent electronic packages controlling all aspects of the bikes. Lean angle sensors, multi-level traction control, launch control, wheelie control, rider modes. The KTM even features a supermoto mode which enables the rear wheel to slide while keeping the front ABS working. It's really clever stuff. When KTM called the Super Duke the beast, they hit the nail squarely on the head. It barks like a pit bull ready to be let off its leash. And by contrast, the Kawasaki is definitely not a beast. But don't get me wrong, I wouldn't call an F-35 jet a beast either. I'm labeling the ZH-2 a heat-seeking missile. 
By definition, naked bikes are motorcycles with the fairings removed. And depending on which side of the fence you sit on, it can be, well, a bit awkward looking. The Super Duke is angular, its razor sharp lines bringing beauty to the beast. The classic KTM orange carefully mixed with blue, and it works. That single sided swing arm is a thing of beauty, and the feel of the build quality is nothing short of brilliant. The Sagomi styling of the ZH2 is arguably less beautiful than the Duke, its powerful front end blunt in comparison at first glance, and the fine details don't shout premium in the same way that the Duke's does. But beauty is often found somewhere between chaos and order, and with the Z, it's about discovering new angles and line work that you may have not first seen. Now before we get too excited, you have to consider that strapping 180 to 200 horsepower into a naked motorcycle, especially when they're going to live most of their lives on the road, it's just way too much power. Oh, scrap that, I don't even know why I wrote it. the conclusion if you want the ultimate in speed all day comfort a real do-it-all motorcycle the zh2 has to be the winner but on the flip side if you want the sharpest tool in the box uncompromised sport bike handling and ergonomics the ktm has to be the winner think of it like michael jordan versus usain bolt they're both winners they're just playing slightly different sports and with these two super nakeds whichever one you choose it's going to be for different reasons and you literally cannot lose with that in mind, we're going to flip a coin. Right, I'll take the super two then, heads. You got tails. Heads it is, you take the Kawasaki, mate. Happy days. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it.